So sometimes in Christianity, people, you know, there's um, different reactions to the word meditate. But we're going to do a meditation right now. I'm going to ask you to join with me in a meditation. And we're going to do, um, I'm going to lead you in a visualization. And it's going to be focused on this scripture, which is Isaiah 66, 12. And it says in this verse, it says, I will extend peace like a river. Okay, so if you will do this with me, you can just stay seated. And if you want to close your eyes, you're welcome to. And if you want to keep them open, you're welcome to. And if your eyes are open, just you might want to just look more downward just so it's more restful. But in your mind's eye, I'm going to uh, describe to you a setting. And I want you to try to make it as vivid as you can in your mind, okay? So I'm going to go back to our scripture. I will extend peace like a river, which is Isaiah 66, 12, okay? So I want you to imagine a river, and it's not just any river, it is a mighty river. I mean, it is flowing fast, and you see it bumping up and down, you hear the sound of that river as it's flowing. This is a river that's been created by the Lord God Almighty. It, cre it contains all the power and all the might of the one who created the heavens and the earth and created you. And it's a beautiful river and you're just standing on the bank and you're looking at it. And besides looking at the water, you see what's around you. And notice the trees that are there. And you hear the sound of the river rushing. Maybe even you hear some birds. There might be other sounds that you hear while you're there. So try to make it as vivid as you can. And you hear, you smell, it's a fresh smell, it's summer. And you smell the grass. And you smell the water. And you feel the heat of the sun as it's coming through the trees. And it's on you and you feel its warmth. And it feels so good. And you look at that river and it is so mighty. It is so powerful. And yet you are feeling drawn toward it. You feel this really strong desire to go to that river, to go to that source. And you cautiously start walking down the bank a little bit toward the river. And you begin to notice that as you get closer to the river, it's slowing down. You still feel the might and you know the power is still there, but you notice that there's a pace and the river's beginning to slow down and slow down and get a little calmer and a little more peaceful. So much so that when you get right near the edge of the river, it's so calm and it's so inviting you decide just to step right into it. And then you take another step. And the water is warm. And you take another step. And you feel that sun and the birds are singing. It's just a beautiful day. You're just filled with this sense of peace and completeness. You just feel so whole. And you let your arms hang down and you feel your hands in the water. Your parts of your arms and you're just moving them in the water. And you start wading out a little bit. And you get out until you're, the river now is about at your waist height. And it just feels so good. And you're just, you're just standing there. And there's nothing on your mind except for how good and complete and peaceful you feel right now standing in that river. And then you notice that your feet start to come off the bottom of the river. And the next thing you know, you're just floating and you, you feel like you're cradled and it's so soothing and so safe you're just relaxing into it and you realize that you've had your eyes closed and you open your eyes and you're not floating. you're being held And it's Jesus. He has you in his arms. He's holding you. 
and you look at him. And he smiles at you, and you smile back. And he's telling you, I love you. I'm always with you. I'm going to do everything you need. I'm never going to leave you. And you know that you've gone from a place of worry and anxiety and uncertainness to this place of great peace and joy. And that's what Paul's telling us that we can do. We can take those pieces of worry and anxiety and we can put them into a prayer. We can put it into a praise to God, the one who wants us to be with them always. And we'll get the answer to those three questions that I laid out at the beginning. We'll have someone say to us, it'll be okay. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And he'll say to you, I'm in it with you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord will personally go ahead of you. He will be with you. And he will neither fail you nor abandon you. And I, then he'll say to you, I'll do whatever you need. And this is the one that as humans we try, but we can't do it completely, but God can. And Paul tells us this in Philippians later in chapter 4. He says, And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in the glory in Christ Jesus.